Hey, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick, uh, stockmarketmentor.com. And I want to look at Tesla today here. Um, first of all, uh, the stock has had a heck of a run here. By the way, pardon my sound. I'm still in New York after a couple of uh, couple of appearances on Fox Business and then uh, CNBC. So I'm in uh, room uh, 509 here at the chat wall. The acoustics ain't that great, but they didn't make it as a sound studio. Anyway, so I'm looking at Tesla here, and here's here's the point. This is a stock that's really, really hard to buy. And the stocks that are the toughest to buy, meaning you know you want to get an uptrending stock, but you want to get it on a pullback, so you're pretty sure that you know. In fact, you're guaranteed that you're not buying right at the top because you have uh, waited for the stock to pull back. It kind of gives you a little foothold um, on the stock. Uh, the best stocks don't let you do that because they keep going up. They kind of reward the FOMO traders who who just have to get in. That's a little bit what we're seeing here. These lines, by the way, are lines that I drew, um, you know, several days ago or last week, talking about what I think the stock could do, and. You know, this to me would be a kind of a more logical thing where the stock goes up and then drifts sideways. Stock goes up here, then we see a, a you know a little doji day there, uh, and then I'm going, okay, well, you know, maybe we'll get another drift lower, like, and then like this, and then we buy when the stock breaks out. Well, that actually didn't happen. The stock just kept going and going and going. So this is again, it's a stock that's really difficult to buy. So do you buy it? Well, you know, I can't say sure, buy it here at 246.25, but I can't say not to because you look at the weekly chart and I would say just on a technical technical basis here, I would say the stock has actually just broken out from this range here. Okay, sideways range. Note how the Bollinger Bands have been have been squeezing here on the on the weekly chart, but even, so even though the daily chart has looked you know pretty volatile because it has been on the weekly chart, you see that these bands really really tightened up and then the stock um, has broken out. So if you're trading this as a longer term trade, you know you can still get in this stock here and then look for in my mind a minimum. 20% move. Again, on the weekly chart, if this is your method of analysis and, and uh, Dave Ryan, who used to, uh, you know, he helped uh, Bill uh, O'Neill. In fact, he might have been the originator of the Canslim method at IBD. You, you know, he was around uh, William O'Neill a lot. And he said he, he never saw O'Neill look at a, at a daily chart one time. Never looked at them. Uh, now, if you're a swing trader, you're going to be looking at daily charts a lot. But the point is, if you're more of a longer term trader where you want to hold stocks for a long period of time for a bigger gain, rather than just flipping through stocks in and out and in and out and in and out and hoping that um, the compounding of those of those shorter term trades, hoping that they will outweigh the gain that you could have made if you just bought and held the stock. You know, if you're that kind of trader, this is not going to work for you. You're going to be in on the daily swing trades. But if you're a longer term trader, you just buy the stock and hold on to it through the ups and downs consistent with a stock that's in an uptrend. So that's how I am trading Tesla. And I tend to be a shorter term trader. And maybe you are too. And this is the point that I want to want you to keep in mind on this. Um, you, we could always trade better. We could all trade better. And so, if you're finding that you're swinging out of stocks that you wish later that you just stayed in, then take a fraction of your position and just say, you know what, I'm holding this thing unless you know if Tesla drops 246 points, then I guess I'll sell it for six pennies. But the bottom line is you're saying, I'm going to take this small amount of money and 
hold these shares. Okay, put those aside in a separate account. I have mine uh, labeled uh, 2023 investment stocks. Um, and then take the rest and swing it if that's what you wanna do. But what you wanna do one way or another is train yourself to hold uptrending stocks like this for bigger moves. However, you're going to do that. You have to make sure that you're not holding them for bigger losses, but you want to find a way to hold these stocks for bigger moves. And that means necessarily for a longer period of time. Okay. So anyway, that's all I got for you. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you Monday.